Hi everybody, today we are doing a first impression on a foundation that I've always wanted to try. It is the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Talc Free All-in-One Cushion Foundation. This was the only one that was actually available at the drugstore I was at, which was CVS. This, um, this was like the only package of this shade, which is Ivory. I've always seen this foundation, and I haven't actually seen too many reviews on it. Like, I've heard good things about it, but I've never actually seen, like, an actual review on it or a first impression. So that is what I'm doing today. I have a few things to do today. Like, I'm not going to be home much, and it's really hot out, so I thought that this might be a good test for this foundation. So this is what the actual foundation packaging looks like. It's really cute. You get this cute little puff and a little mirror in it. Take the puff out. It's protected by a plastic like thing. You take this off and it looks like that. I'm going to quickly prime my face. I'm kind of running out of time. So I have to hurry up and get ready, so let me zoom in. I have some issues with my skin still, acne, stuff. So we'll see how the coverage is. So I'm just going to use my same primer, the Hangover RX from Too Faced, because that's what I have right now. I'm going to rub it in, let that set for one minute while I get my brushes out. So I'm going to use my regular foundation brush that I've been using lately, and we're going to see how that applies it. If I don't like that coverage, I am going to use the Physician's Formula puff that they actually put in the package. But I've been using the It Cosmetics Full Coverage Foundation Heavenly Skin Foundation Brush. So I'm just going to dip in and pat it on my skin. I hope it matches. It should match. But we'll see. It looks like it could be like a teeny bit yellow. I'm going to blend it in. looks a teeny bit pink actually for me. It looks a little too dark, but I can make it work. It's summer. I can wear bronzer. But the first layer wasn't like too pigmented. Like it wasn't too full coverage or anything. I don't know if you can actually see. So I'm going to take some more. I'm just going to go in for a second layer. really nice once it's actually on the skin like it doesn't feel heavy but it also feels like it's gonna set really nicely so I'm actually gonna take just a little bit more and carry it down my neck because you can see it is a little a little darker so I'm just gonna take it in general if my skin if I didn't have acne issues this coverage would be perfect for me um, because it's it evens you out but it doesn't hide like your freckles or beauty marks you know I've said that a bunch on this channel that is one of my favorite things to wear a foundation that evens out my skin but that doesn't take away like the characteristics of my skin that I like so real quick I'm going to put on concealer bronzer blush all that stuff and then I'll come back and we can talk about this more and how the makeup applied on top of it Okay everybody, I have all of my makeup on now. I can honestly say that my skin feels really nice. It's almost like a cream to powder finish. It doesn't feel like a cream whatsoever, and I really didn't powder at all. I mean, I did powder a little bit, but not enough for my whole face to really feel like it's set. So I really like how it feels. It feels really lightweight, like it doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin. 
I think the coverage is really nice. I think with the concealer, I love how it looks. It looks pretty natural. Um, it just looks really nice and glowy. And it's not so much matte, but it's not a satin or dewy finish either. It's definitely like a demi matte. It's really, really nice. Yeah, I like it. And I think, you know what, overall, I think it might be a little dark for me, but I think it matches pretty well. And, you know, on the market, they have so many drops that can lighten or darken the foundation to your skin. So I really, really actually enjoy how it looks. I'm really hoping that it looks great throughout the day. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to take my Pure Miracle Mist. I hate the way this sprays out, but I've heard a lot of people say that, like like patting in a setting spray actually like makes everything look much better because it actually gets down deep into the makeup so I'm gonna do that just really lightly not anything like serious so yeah I actually really really like how it looks you can see some things like there that are shining through but I think it's just because blending my contour out because it's a cream I have to like work in those areas and if the concealer is not set yet it can move around but to be honest I don't really mind that too much um that's more my fault than anything I think the coverage is really really nice all right so it is 10.05 uh I'm also testing out this lipstick so let me know what you think yeah so I'm about to get dressed and leave. I'm going to lunch. I think I said that. I will update you throughout the day. I'm going to get a long amount of time wearing this makeup, I think, because I have to go to lunch, go to the mall, go to lunch, then go and babysit my cousin. So I think I'm going to wear this for a long time so you'll really see how it wears. You know, this also says that it's a sunscreen, like a foundation sunscreen, which is cool. I'm into that. I can, I can get down on that. So yeah, 10 o'clock. I will keep you updated. I will see you when I see you. All right, I'm in the car and leaving. This is what it looks like in the daylight. I don't think it looks bad. I think it matches okay. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, I'm driving now. Holy moly. Okay. Whew. I have like a nice haul that I can show you guys later, but right now this is just a check-in for the foundation. Let me just give you in a little bit. Whew. It's hot, a hot one out there today, guys. Like, really, really bad. Okay, so this is the foundation. I don't know why it looks so... It just looks so... Whew, blurry. I don't know. Okay. So I have these NYX blotting sheets, which I love, uh, but I got a different kind this time. And I got tea treats for making your face feel fresh. So my foundation, listen, it's 90 degrees out today. And my foundation is actually lasting pretty, pretty well. And it doesn't even feel bad. It doesn't even feel that oily. So I'm just going to blot real quick. We'll see how oily it is and if it comes off on the blotting sheet. <laughs> I bought some cute um, things to show you guys. Not anything too expensive, but like a little haul. That might be like a five minute video. The forehead is where most of the oil is, as you can see. But for it being 90 degrees in a car with no air conditioning, and being about five hours into this, I don't think I even mentioned the time. Where's my phone? I put my phone somewhere. Where did I put my phone? It's 3.30 now, so I left at 10. That was when I put it on, and that means it's been like five and a half hours. So for five and a half hours, I'm not that oily. And I've been sweating like all day. Now let me look up close. I have some mascara fallout there. Jeez. It doesn't look too cakey. And the coverage might have faded a little bit, but not that bad. So I'm actually really impressed with that so far. And I'll definitely keep you updated as, as the day goes on. Because now I have to leave and go babysit my cousin. Don't know for how long. Maybe I'll get some footage there. But as of right now, this is what it looks like five and a half hours in. So, let me know what you guys think so far. It's one of those days where it's summery, but it's like too summery. It's beautiful out, but it's just so hot and humid. It's like 93 degrees right now. And it's only 3.30. Soon it should be cooling down though. But I wanted to show you what this looks like. It's still 3.30. Um, 
but you can see I look flushed like summer, but I don't think it looks that bad. I think it still looks cute. I gotta go now. <laughs> How you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Hey, Emily. Yeah? No, it's really cool. What? Kevin had to teach me this. He did? Yes. Oh. My. God. That's the best dance move I've ever seen. He just taught me that. He did? Yes. What is it? What? What is it? What? Cat. This? That. Shot. What are you doing with it? Put on your nose. Why? No, I do. Why? So they make... So, so, so mom didn't see when she comes home. So she can what? Comes home and sees. So, 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 so mom can see when she comes home. I'm not going to wear that sock all the time until she comes home. Yeah. No, it's an hour. It's okay. It's not okay to me. It's a gross sock. Hey. No. <laughs> no. Let's take a shortcut. Can I take a shortcut? Yeah. No. No, you're not going on the back of the couch, no. Stop spinning. No. We're not doing it. No. No. You're holding my hand. Help. Look. No. I'm going to put a ton of socks on your face. No, you're not. Well, you're the other. You missed! <laughs> I am in a towel, just so you know. I just got out of the shower. It is 10 o'clock. And I'm going to show you a clip of what my makeup looked like literally 15 minutes ago. I just got out of the shower, but I was I recorded it, my makeup, right before I got in the shower. So the makeup that you're seeing now is about 12 hours worth of wear time. I put it on at 10 and I took it off pretty much at 10 so it's really like a 15 minute difference but it's pretty much 12 hours. Certain foundations like for cheap drugstore foundations you really can't expect you know a ton of of wear time or that it will look flawless the entire day. It's definitely a difficult situation when it comes to finding a long-lasting, long-wearing foundation, it's a challenge. But the thing is, is that there are ones out there. This one, for wearing it for 12 hours, I think it actually looked pretty decent, especially because for a lot of that 12 hours, I was outside driving and I'm in a car with no air conditioning. So, you know, sweating and like already having oily skin plus sweat plus just wearing it for 12 hours and having the sun be on me and you know I think that this foundation wore very well now yeah it is faded you can see in the clip that it's faded a lot you can definitely see my pimples and stuff but I don't even think that that's so much the foundation I think that it's actually the concealer I use so I think that this foundation actually lasted pretty pretty well and even if it did uh, lose coverage in certain areas like over my acne and stuff like that I'm still really satisfied with it because it's a sunscreen foundation so the whole point of it is that it's like a mineral wear it's almost like a BB cream with SPF in it and sometimes or a lot of the time even expensive foundation if it is like a sunscreen SPF mineral kind of makeup it doesn't last that long especially cushion foundations because cushion foundations kind of seem to be a lot lighter formula like it seems to be a little bit lighter of a formula so it doesn't always last as long as like a really heavy foundation does and now heavy foundations get cakey you know I'm not saying that this didn't cake it did like certain areas like around my chin around my nose it did get cakey but I think for 12 hours this foundation looked pretty good you know I think that it wore pretty well and the best part about it is that all day it didn't feel gross like I could feel that I was oily and sweaty but when you touched your face, when you touch your face, it doesn't come off on your hands. 
and it just feels powder, like it just feels like powder. It doesn't feel like sticky foundation or like it's going to slide off. It genuinely like absorbed the oil. As you saw earlier in the day when I blotted, a lot of oil didn't really come off. And usually in that kind of weather with oily skin and foundation and everything, I would be like, it would be sliding off my face at that point. But you saw like a lot of oil didn't even come off. So it really did help with oil control. And overall it just was nice. It, it applied nicely and it lasted for a really long time. And it wasn't hard to actually like remove it, you know. Uh, it just kind of felt like a moisturizer when you put it on, and it wasn't uncomfortable at all. And usually, like after an hour of wearing makeup, I'm like, oh, just get it off my skin already. But this was actually pretty nice. And I didn't prime like I would normally prime. Like I only used one primer, and I usually use two. I was just lazy this morning. So even with that included, it did a fantastic job. So this foundation, I think it was... $14. Now, Physician's Formula is a little steep. It's a little expensive for the drugstore, but for some reason foundations are just increasing like that lately. So, it's not surprising, that price. But, for a cushion foundation, I feel like that might be a little bit much. Just because cushion foundations, you tend to get a little bit less than usual than like other foundations. I think this is blurry. I apologize if it is. But in all honesty, this foundation was really, really nice, and it's packaged nicely, it's a cute little package, and it has that nice little coverage for this, you know, which is really, really nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, ending it in like a little bit of a different way than usual, just because I really wanted to take a shower. Hopefully you guys don't mind that. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of this foundation and how it wears and how it looked in the beginning of the day and how it looks by the end of the day. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you are having a great day. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!